What's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. Another Tuesday is upon us and that means it's time to hit the stores and go Blu-ray hunting. It is another huge brand new release week. We've got The Exorcist and also The Little Mermaid. But on top of those and the other brand new releases, I am still on the search for those Walmart exclusive Halloween themed steel books. I'm parked right outside of Walmart that is down the street from the Best Buy that I normally go go to. So this is pretty much my last attempt to find these in store. And if I can't, then I'm going to have to order them online. So cross your fingers for me. When I go inside, they will be there. And after Walmart, we're hitting Best Buy. So come shopping with me. What are we waiting for? Let's go. Stop number one, heading on into Walmart. And the new release is at Walmart. They are advertising The Little Mermaid. So they do have the Walmart exclusive 4K. So here's what the cover looks like. And there's the limited edition enamel pin. You have Ariel on a rock. So if you're interested in having that in your collection, there we go. I kind of do like the, the cover of that. It looks pretty nice. Also the Blu-ray slipcover DVD. We still have Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse stuff. They got the Blu-ray Steelbook, regular 4K, DVD, Joyride on Blu-ray and DVD as well, the double pack of The Little Mermaid live action and animated, Air on DVD, Cobra Kai, Walking Dead, Dead City Season 1, The Flash, Fast X, No Hard Feelings, and Picard. A lot of empty spots, but I'm really hoping when I turn this corner, I'm going to see some Steelbooks. <gasps> there they are. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm so excited. And these are actually the two that I was looking to pick up. Ironically, I know they are both Rob Zombie. Let's not ask any questions. So here's Halloween 1 and 2, the Firefly Trilogy, the Leprechaun Collection, and also the Saw Collection. These are looking fantastic. I love how they look. Unfortunately, that's where Blair Witch should be. But Blair Witch is sold out. I guess everyone wanted Blair Witch. Still have a couple of other Halloween themed, like animated, kid friendly up at the top. Halloween Town, Hocus Pocus, all that stuff. Beetlejuice, the animated complete series. They have the box set. Let me try that again. They have the eight movie collection box set of Friday the 13th on DVD. There we go. The Halloween 4K from Screen Factory. Also the three the three film set. That music is really distracting. The three the three film I can't talk. The three film set, there we go, of Halloween. And we have more slip covers. Instead of green, they are orange. We've got the Conjuring Universe, Dracula movies, Venom, two movie collection, all the Jordan Peele films, Tremors, Chucky. All of your basic horror icons on DVD. But that's exactly what I'm looking for. I'm super excited. So already, I am winning. Major success at Walmart already. Very happy. Two steel books, but we have more to go. We are not done yet because, of course, we have to go to Best Buy. All right, here we go. We're going into Best Buy. We're going into Best Buy. And the new release is at Best Buy. It is all about The Little Mermaid. We do have the Best Buy exclusive 4K Steelbook with Ariel yet again on her rock. Also the Blu-ray slipcover, both looking very nice. Kick-Ass 2 4K slip right next door, still no Steelbook, probably sold out. Gonna have to pick that up online. The Flash is still here, a couple of those Steelbooks. Fast X 4K Blu-ray. Also the Fast and Furious collection. Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse, everything in stock still. Kind of surprised at that, actually. Avatar, The Way of Water, still here. Tons of steelbooks. I'm surprised about that as well. Battlestar Galactica, Jaws 2 Slip, Shazam Fury of the Gods, Wakanda Forever, Hackers, Guardians 3, and Lord of War 4K steelbook. But where's The Exorcist? What do we got over here? So we do have Air on Blu-ray still. The Expendable Steelbooks. I'm having a great time re-watching these movies, by the way. 
Mission Impossible 1 through 6, still here. From last week, Batman, Mask of the Phantasm 4K. No hard feelings on Blu-ray, the blackening, everything for the blackening. Steelbook, 4K, Blu-ray. Two Guns with all their steelbooks. The Star Wars, Silver Steelbooks down at the bottom. Ender's Game, tons of Ender's Game. Oh my god, there's like six copies of Ender's Game Steelbook. Nightmare Before Christmas, Vacation, and John Wick Chapter 4. Hmm, is The Exorcist sold out already? Over in the other brand new release section, we do have The Exorcist, but only the 4K slipcover for $25.99. Not seeing that steelbook. I believe it's a case of online only. Right next door is Past Lives on Blu-ray for only $15.99. Really great price for that one. We also have The Lost City of Z on 4K, no slipcover, $29.99, and also a couple more Little Mermaids on Blu-ray. Guardians Volume 3 is still here on Blu-ray, Babylon 5 on 4K, About My Father, Maggie Moore's Kandahar, You Hurt My Feelings. We also have Night of the Comet 4K, Bride of Chucky 4K. Ugh, Fool's Paradise, <laughs> Swamp Thing 4K, So I Married an Axe Murderer, War of the Worlds, all of the usuals. I'm not seeing the Cocaine Bear 4K upgrade anywhere. And by the way, the Black Phone 4K apparently got delayed. So I believe that's coming out in September, or I mean October. October is a crazy 4K month. You guys have no idea. There's really nothing else that is brand new. Joyride from last week, Shrek the Third, Across the Spider-Verse, Asteroid City, Ninja Turtles, Book Club, Book Club 2, Indiana Jones 4K Slips, Evil Dead Rise Blu-ray, looks like that one is on sale for $15.49, so that's a nice price point. And the 4K slip is $26.99. There is a 4K steelbook coming, just to let you guys know about that one. That's also coming in October. October is a huge 4K month. I did the pre-work for 4K sneak peek and it is insane. It is crazy. All right, as far as Disney, there's pretty much everything. No one's buying this. <laughs> No one's buying this except for me, I think, and I only bought a couple of items, which is pretty sad. As far as the steelbook section, really, it says steelbooks, but there's like no steelbooks. It's all 4Ks. It's all 4Ks, a couple steelbooks here and there, but plenty of Wakanda Forever, plenty of Avatar Way of Water. The John Wick box set's still here, full price. All right, it doesn't really look like there's anything else happening at Best Buy, so I'm going to just poke around, see what else what I can find, but that's pretty much it. So let's head on home so I could show you what I picked up today. Back at home, it's time for me to show you what I got, what I went out today. Very successful day. As you could see at Walmart, I was super excited. I found the steelbooks I was looking for. Although I was a little bit disappointed with Best Buy today. I mean, they didn't have the Exorcist Steelbook. It's probably online only. But then once I got back to the car after I checked out, I realized the fall 4K Steelbook from Lionsgate was not there. So that was disappointing because that was definitely on my pickup list. If it was there, I would have gotten it. But I did pick up another Steelbook that I waited a couple of weeks for. Also, on top of that, when I pulled into the driveway, we've got some mail. So I'm going to open up the mail first and then show you what I picked up from Walmart and Best Buy. So I believe this is coming to me from Paramount. So let's open this up. Can't really show you. I don't want to show off my address. Plus, I'll, I'll open it this way. There we go. There we go. So once it's open we don't go back. If I make any mistakes, we're just going to roll with it because that's how I am on this channel and you guys tolerate it, which I really appreciate. So here we go. What did we get from Paramount? Yes, it is from Paramount. Okay. So I wanted to make sure we have got, Ooh, Ooh, 
it's a little bit damaged on the bottom, but Jack Ryan season three, I haven't seen this at all. I have no idea. <laughs> I've heard of the show. I know that John Krasinski is in the show, but I haven't seen the show. I kind of wish that I started off with season one, had one and two. I, I could always stream it, I guess. I could always stream seasons one and two on Paramount Plus probably. But here we have season three. I have no idea when this is coming out. They didn't send me a paper with information. But most likely it's coming out next week because usually when I do receive review copies from studios, it's usually a week ahead of time. So Jack Ryan, season three, coming your way on Blu-ray. Be on the lookout for it. And I am kind of, yeah, this is a damage slip. This is not Paramount's fault. This is UPS or FedEx or whoever sent, it, it's UPS, not FedEx. UPS that sent this over. They did not take care of this. UPS, do a better job. But here we go. Jack Ryan, season three. If you're a major fan, pick it up. Pick it up when it's available. All right. I've done my job. Okay. <laughs> here we go. All right. So what did I pick up today? What did I bring home with me today? What are the sacred items that are joining the physical media collection? Here we go. As you guys all know, you saw the video already. If you're at this point, you already watched the majority of it. You saw me go crazy at Walmart because we found the Halloween themed steel books. This was my last opportunity to find them in store. I checked my local Walmart. Of course, they did not have it. I checked a neighboring Walmart did not have it. So I crossed my fingers and I prayed that the Walmart down the street from the Best Buy that I go to did have them. And they did. They had all of them except for the Blair Witch movies. That's okay. I can bypass on Blair Witch. That's not like a need to have. But Halloween 1 and 2, even though it is Rob Zombie, and I know I'm going to get the comments, you hate Rob Zombie. Why are you picking up? Why are you wasting your money? Because I have a sick addiction. That is why. That's why I'm picking them up. That's why I'm wasting my money. Because this is an awesome looking steelbook. And I had to have it. Plus anything with the Halloween franchise, I pick up. Like next week that's coming out, Halloween H2O steelbook, I'm picking that up. Even though I already own H2O a couple of times, that does not matter. I need everything. So this is a case of needing everything, plus a brand new steelbook. There we go. Now, this is Blu-ray. This is not 4K. However, I will say both of these, Halloween 1 and 2, are unrated director's cuts. And I think the director's cuts were kind of hard to find or they weren't available on Blu-ray, something like that. So just to let you guys know, both Halloween 1 and 2 are are the unrated director's cuts. So I'm actually looking forward to breaking this open come, you know, time for the, the Halloween massive rewatch that will happen in October. I will choose to watch these ones when they come around in the franchise. You know what I'm talking about. When it's time to watch them, I'm pulling out this one. There we go. So expect a future unboxing for Halloween 1 and 2, as well as the Firefly Trilogy. I know it's more Rob Zombie. However, what I will say, I did not mind House of a Thousand Corpses. Okay. I did not hate it. And that's big for me. So I'm thinking maybe I will like the other two movies. Maybe I won't hate them like other movies that I have hated from Rob Zombie in the past. But here we go. Here is the Firefly Trilogy. I'm digging the Steelbook yet again. I'm digging it. And this is just regular Blu-ray yet again, also digital codes. So I will do a Rob Zombie Steelbook unboxing video of those two Steelbooks together. Now let's move on to the rest of my pack, the, my, my pack, my pile that I picked up at Best Buy today. There we go. So you knew this was happening. The Little Mermaid 4K Best Buy exclusive steelbook. 
I had to pick it up. You know what? I said I wasn't going to because it's on Disney+. Plus. We watched it as a family. And I just really enjoyed re-watching it. For some reason at home, I love the rewatch even more than I liked watching it in the theater for some reason. So because of that factor, I decided to pick up the Steelbook because The Little Mermaid has a very special place in my heart. Live action, animation, it does not matter. The story as a whole just has the special place. And I like the Steelbook. I do like it. I like the color palette. You got Ariel on her rock as she's longing for Prince Eric. You have Flounder, Scuttle, Sebastian. You have like all, all the all the critters, you know, <laughs> all the critters on the rock with Ariel. I'm hopefully I'm hoping like Ursula's on the back or something when I open this because that would be really cool if Melissa McCarthy was just like Meh, on the back of the steelbook. I think that'd be great. I don't think that's gonna happen. Maybe she's on the inside cover artwork. Who knows? We'll find out. We'll find out. Okay, I did pick up Past Lives. It was only $15.99 very, very cheap price point. And you know what? The reason why I picked this up, I heard great things about this movie, fantastic reviews, and it's getting a lot of buildup for like award season buzz. And so that's kind of the reason why, okay, it's on my radar. It's getting talked about for award season. And it is an A24 title. I do like to collect A24 as much as possible. So I pe Blech. So I <laughs> I went with, I picked up. Those like combined in my head and bleh came out. So I picked up Past Lives. I told you, I, I kind of like curse myself when I say once I open a package, if I make a mistake, I just keep rolling because look what happened. And the final item that I picked up today at Best Buy, I'm concentrating, there we go. You're probably going to say, Susan, what the hell are you doing? You already have two copies of this film. I picked up the Flash Steelbook. The reason being is because even though very generous, I got copies from Warner Brothers and also from High Def Ninja, the Icon Edition from Walmart. I love them both. I had to pick up the Steelbook. One, the sickness is real. Two, because... Once you get to the point where you are collecting an entire franchise on a certain format or a certain, you know, packaging like a steel book, you got to continue. I can't just stop. With Marvel and DC, every single movie I pick up the steel book. The, you know, the, I call it the steel book format. I know it's not the I know it's not the format, but I always pick up the steel book for Marvel and DC. So it was kind of like killing me that I didn't have the steel book because like, what if they ran out? You know, like what if they ran out? They weren't there anymore. It's maybe it's sold out online and then I don't get it. I wasn't picking up that much at Best Buy today. So I figure I'll take advantage and I'll just pick up the flash steel book while it's still in stock. Does it make sense? Probably not but I hope it does. So that is everything that I brought home with me today. And really quickly before I sign off tonight, you guys got to come and support your girl because I am going to be a part of a DVD battle over on Bob's Blu-ray's YouTube channel tonight, tonight, September 19th at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It is round three of this DVD battle. And let me tell you something, tonight it's packed with all-star heavy hitter physical media collectors. You have myself, Dave Durant Cinema, Huck from Huck's Pop Culture Cafe, Tim Talks Talkies, you have Tiffany from Let's Get Cinematic, 4K Lowdown, I believe, Laren. I mean, this is an all-star packed DVD battle. I need your love and I need your support. So tonight at 8.30, mark it down, head on over to Bob's Blu-ray's channel to see who wins and who moves on to the final. Can I do it? Do you guys think I could win tonight? There's three winners tonight that move on. So cross your fingers for me that I'll be able to win and move on to the finals. So that is everything that I picked up today. 
very successful. But the big question is, what did you find if you went out today? Comment down below and let me know. Don't forget to like and subscribe before you leave, and I'll see you next time.